Well, we've now seen how this park has been designed and scaled for different age groups. Scale has to do with energy, and energy has to do with location. All of these kids are starting at the bottom level or the ground, and they're all heading to the same location, this main deck where most of the slides go off to. Now all of these kids have about the same mass. In saying that, them climbing from the ground to this location says they're doing about the same amount of work against gravity. Well, that's important because by climbing from the ground to this main deck, each one of these kids has the same gravitational potential energy. Now, gravitational potential energy, symbolized as GPE, is defined as energy by virtue of location. So if everybody starts on the ground and everybody ends at the main deck, they all start and end at the same place. They all have the same energy by virtue of their location. Now, if one were to climb to the top of this slide up here, because it's a greater vertical distance, the child who got to that point would have more gravitational potential energy because their location above the ground is bigger. So they would have a greater amount of GPE. Now, the only part that remains is how best to use that energy. How best to get down. The statement that answers the question, where is this energy coming from and where is it going to, is answered by the force due to gravity acting on this ball, transferring energy within the Earth ping pong ball system. See, before we only considered the motion of the ping pong ball bouncing relative to the kinetic energy. When this ping pong ball came flying off, it had a tremendous amount of kinetic energy and the force due to gravity did work to suck that energy out. And we see that negative work is done, it's coming out of the system, and how much energy was transferred is reflected right here in this magnitude. And then once the ball, after all that energy has gone out, it has now reached zero and now the force due to gravity is going to accelerate it, increasing its velocity. So we see the force due to gravity puts energy into the system. How much? This much. Well, what's the system? Well, the system is defined by the earth and the ball. Remember, according to Newton's third law, the force of the ping pong ball pulling on the earth is equal to the earth pulling on the ping pong ball. So it's these two that constitute the system. Now, this energy, it goes into what's called gravitational potential energy, GPE. Now, as the ball goes up, the force due to gravity transfers energy from kinetic energy and puts it into the GPE of the ping pong ball Earth system. And on the way down, the force due to gravity transfers energy from the ping pong ball Earth system into the kinetic energy of motion of the ping pong ball. That statement is incredibly important because of how we're going to define potential energy. So on the way up, we see that the force due to gravity transfers energy from kinetic energy of ping pong ball into gravitational, there, sorry about that, gravitational potential energy that we call GPE of the ping pong ball earth system. So the force due to gravity takes that kinetic energy from the, or takes energy from the kinetic energy of motion and stores it and puts it into the gravitational potential energy of the system of ping pong ball and earth. And on the way down, the opposite happens. The force due to gravity transfers energy from GPE of the ping pong ball earth 
system to kinetic energy of the ping pong ball. So on the way down, it takes that energy of the system and transfers it into energy of motion. Now, this is a very important statement because of how we define potential energy. So let's take a couple steps forward towards really defining gravitational potential energy.